we previously derived Laplace's equation for the torsion of a non-circular shaft and also the boundary condition. And we use the stress function to represent the shear stresses in the z-plane. And now we want to relate the torque applied on the section to the stress function through the shear stresses. So note that the force acting on this infinitesimal area on the z-plane is the stress multiplied by the area. And if we multiply this by the vertical distance from the centroid, the moment arm is y. And this produces a clockwise torque about the centroid, so we'll take clockwise torques to be negative. And similarly, we have the torque due to the stress tau zy. So we multiply this by dx dy to get the force, and then multiply by the horizontal distance from the centroid, which is the moment arm. And now we can substitute for the stresses using the stress functions. So we have minus d phi dy being tau zx multiplied by y dx dy and then minus d phi dx multiplied by x dx dy. And then integrating these over the area gives the torque acting on the section. And now we integrate by parts. So for this left integral, we'll integrate with respect to y and then with respect to x. So we're evaluating this interior integral here by parts. So letting u equal y, du is dy, and dv is the partial derivative of the stress function with respect to y. And then integrating this, we get the stress function. So therefore, we can rewrite this integral as the negative of the outer integral of uv minus the integral of v du. And this outer integral is evaluated with respect to x. And if you evaluated this integral here by parts, you'd get a similar expression. So what we'd get is minus the integral of phi x minus the integral of phi dx. And we're integrating this with respect to y. So therefore, these integrals here are the same. So we have 2 by the integral over the area of phi dx dy. So it doesn't matter if we evaluate the integral with respect to y or x first. And then we have minus the integral of phi y dx and then minus the integral of phi x dy. And now if we do a change of variables, so we'll integrate over the boundary of the section. So dx ds is the negative component of the normal at the boundary, and dy ds is the x component of the normal. And remember that by this boundary condition, the total derivative of the stress function with respect to s along the boundary is zero. So the stress function is constant, and we conveniently took a stress function of zero at the boundary, which has been found to generally work well for the torsion problem. So therefore, a zero integrand would mean that these integrals would evaluate the zero. So therefore our torque is 2 multiplied by the double integral of the stress function over x and y.